patients often come to a, a, a research center like UCSF, which is a major center, and there are many around the country, probably not as many as we would like, but uh, enough around the country that are doing research that will have direct impact on patient management. And we emphasize translational research here. That's one of our strengths, which very simply stated is taking information from the basic science researchers using it in a laboratory investigation that has direct implications to the patient and then taking that and using that as a strategy on patients. So, so taking bench to bedside information so that the entire context of our research is focused on how are we going to help our patients. Not just understanding biology, but how are we going to ha help our patients. And in that kind of arena, I think uh, I mentioned that there's a lot of exciting news right now, and most of it's in the biology that's applicable to patients. So we now have tools uh, and methods uh, that are much more rapid in terms of screening the entire genome of patients, not only of their tumor, but of their immune system, of their normal DNA, matching those things together. We have the ability that we would never had before, which is uh, uh, I think novel, which is to take tumor tissue from patients and in addition to very eloquently analyzing their RNA and DNA and proteins in those tumors, but taking that same tumor, culturing it and putting it into model systems. So this is a patient's tumor we're growing in a model system and we're manipulating that tumor in that model system and it's going to be in a rodent or a mouse um, and understanding what happens to that tumor in that system after we treat them with similar kinds of therapies that we're giving to our patients or therapies that we plan to use. So we're going to know uniquely what's happening to patients. This is sort of the ultimate in individualized patient therapy. There's always going to be a lag between what happens in the, in the laboratory and what happens to the patient, but it's their tumor that we're studying and a host of tumors like that. And we're characterizing them, we're treating them with various uh, new therapies. And we hope then if that patient's disease progresses, we're going to have information ahead of the game for them. And I, f I find that uh, to be a striking new example. And we have to optimize the system of how we can start to really be prepared for a patient's relapse. If it's going to happen, we'll have their tissue. We would have done things to it that will be hopefully applicable to what happens to them when they grow back. So I find that very exciting research and I think that the, the specific areas of the research are, are involved with vaccine approaches that we're using with uh, different signaling pathways. In other words, taking tumor cells and figuring out the multitude of genes, proteins, um, and parts of that cell uh, and in a systems way, figuring out the best strategies to deal with all of the abnormalities that are going on. And it's not only what I call cell-centric, which means the tumor cell itself isolated, but the tumor cell in the brain and in the blood vessels and in the immune system, all interacting in this very complex and unfortunately terrible dance, but complex dance all of which has a role to play. So if we, if we kill a tumor cell but don't deal with the blood vessels that are already being created, it's not going to help. And if we don't deal with the immune system which is being prevented from interacting with that tumor cell, any of those that escape that has an altered immune system, we're, we're going to fail. So we have to take all of the parts of that puzzle, put it together, think about the entire system that's involved, and then develop strategies that are at least going to be safe. We have to make sure that they're safe for patients, but make sense in that, in that kind of environment. And that's our goal. Our goal is to take the, in, the entity of the tumor, not just a cell, grow it in a model system that's relevant to patients, and study all parts of it, uh, which is a costly undertaking. It's a time-consuming undertaking, but it's one that's critical if we're ever going to make a difference. And that's, that's our plan. That's what we're trying to do. So we're looking at all aspects of it. Blood vessels, tumors, cell surface proteins, growth factors, the immune system. What happens if you treat all that in the, in the brain so we don't damage the brain too much? And how we can monitor success or lack of success because that's just as important too because if we don't have a way to follow what we're doing then it's not going to be very helpful.